What's up, comic fam, comic fans? And it's time for that preview show. Previewing the comics coming out this week, December 7th, December 6th for DC in some shops. So, we're going to get into the books right after this. Spartans, what is your profession? Welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back. All right, so let's get into the books. And if you like comics, you like talking about the comics coming out this week, go ahead and uh, think about subscribing, hitting the notification bell, and giving me a thumbs up. But uh, first, let's talk about the comics, and then you can decide. Like we usually do, we're going to get into those spec books. When we get to this part of the year, November, December, usually a little slow, so not not that much coming out but every once in a while we're gonna figure out what we got so first off we got Delilah in the dark number one mad cave studios all right and this is about a hitman who's kind of retired but he takes one last job in hopes of seeing his estranged daughter again okay this just seems like one of those heartfelt kind of books you know where the situation that he's in just kind of leads you to to root for the character and when we have a character that can be charismatic or you know it, it's kind of a anti-hero but at the same time he can kind of tug at the heartstrings of the audience sometimes we get a book that's spec worthy i don't expect this to jump off the shelves day one i don't expect this to jump to being a very valuable book from day one but this is one that can be optioned in the future have some development uh, possibilities etc and uh, I also think it could just be a good story so we got Delilah in the dark from Mad Cave Studios all right next up we have Miles Morales Spider-Man number one it's Miles it's it's a first issue in a new arc and we also have a new character in this uh this new run and it's it's a, it's it's gonna be a antagonist or a villain you can say but we had the same thing just happened in the past with villains and eventually they also become allies of miles all right so that's a possibility there's a ton of covers if you look over here on the side so it's Miles. He's a Spider-Man for a new generation. But uh, the character we have is a character called Raneem. All right, eventually, I think he becomes an antagonist of Miles. As you can see here, there's a pretty big creator bundle behind the book. So um, lots of variant artists, as you can see. Cody Ziegler is writing it. In this one, I believe Misty Knight is going to become like a mentor to Miles. So that is a thing. And it's not, I believe, I actually saw Cody Ziegler and he talked about it. And so Misty Knight will be a big part of this series. All right. Uh, but yeah, it's Miles. You got a new character in here, first appearance. And it's a spider-man book so boom here you go those are my spec books of the week all right let's get into the spotlight books first off we got frank miller's pandora this is like a ya book all right this is going to be a young adult fantasy book but basically you got this girl annabeth dean she uses her powers to get what she wants but it comes at a cost and it could bring her about the end of the world all right so uh you know frank miller does a good job of reining in his Frank Miller Presents line. This could be a good book. All right, we're going to keep on going to the next spotlight book from Dynamite. Don't spotlight a ton of Dynamite books. Um, they're usually not in my specs or anything like that. But this is Gargoyles number one. So for you children of the early 90s, this can hit just right. It can hit hard. Um, it can hit different, all right? You've got uh, Greg Weissman and George 
Kamba Dias on this book, but you got a David Nakayama cover, DNA right there, and then you got some variants, all right? You got Jay Lee, you got Ivan Tao, Tony Fleece, Amanda Connor, uh, Lucio Perillo, uh, Ryan Kikade. Uh, I mean, I could just name everybody, but look at all these covers, and it's dynamite, guys. So, yes, there are gonna be a ton of covers from dynamite but look at that oh man so for those of you who are very nostalgic you got your dynamite and your gargoyles all right let's get into the rest of the comics coming out this week first off we got image comics you got all against all there's some talk about this book we'll see how it goes it could be a pretty good book one of those spec books that comes out of nowhere to take on the world all right it's a distant future earth, earth is lo is uh, long gone but a race of alien conquerors known as the operators have been preserved i have preserved the sorry the most savage animals in the artificial jungle environment they barely understand basically this dude goes in he's gonna take out those aliens <clears throat> that is to make it <laughs> everything as quick as possible that is that uh you got a couple covers so i think this this book might have some uh some teeth as image is going to stand behind it what else you got got a lot of other books uh do power bomb number seven of seven uh, people love this series so go ahead and read it you got hexware all right this is another series being lauded and i'll just click on it as well this is tim seeley all right boom you can read this if you want but this is another book that people are talking about as you can see a lot more covers all right and then you got kaya a couple of others little monsters all right that's uh jeff lemire on that that was a series people talked about. Noctera with a special. That book's been away for a little bit, but boom, it's back with a one shot. Radiant Pink coming out of the pages of Radiant Black. What else? Uh, Rogues Gallery, which had some hype a little while ago. That's got a trade. Seven Sons is an issue is that issue seven of seven that texas blood which i really enjoyed the last arc has a christmas special on discovered country is back as you can see i've ordered it and then you got that walking dead deluxe in color where boom here comes the boom ready or not what do we got know your station is another book that people are talking about um, there's a couple of books that are coming out this week. I don't, I don't want to say I don't believe in them as spec. I told you which ones I picked. But this is, seems like a, a decent pick. Uh, the wealthiest people in the solar system abandon the Earth for a private sanctuary in space, leaving the rest of us to die amidst cataclysmic climate change. Oof, kind of hits close to home. All right, and uh, you got some Magic the Gathering. All right, we're at Dark Horse. Dark Horse. And what do you got here? Bunch of books. It's only a teenage wasteland. I've heard some people talk about that. That could be a good read. All right. Basically, parents go away for the weekend. A teen throws a party, and uh, all sorts of calamity ensue. That's what you got there. That's the stuff of movies of the 80s and 90s. But sounds like it's a good time. Earth Divers number three i have not read it i ordered that book we'll see what happens um i think it's okay if you've read earth divers let me know if it's worth really sinking my teeth into or diving into but um, all right transformers ninja turtles as well coming out from uh idw but um, boom, boom. all right so we're at dc as always, you got Batman. This should be the conclusion of the arc with Failsafe. All right. As you see, a lot of covers. I don't know why they showed cover A twice. That seems like an error to me. Got a 
cover G, which lets you know there's a lot of covers coming out, and that's with Spawn Cardstock by Delato. Just a lot of covers. Man, they're still going. All right, so we're at Batman and the Joker, the Deadly Duo. This this is issue two. All right, I really enjoyed issue one. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna subscribe to it. If Previews World works in your area, this is how easy it is to subscribe and put these issues in your pull box. You just hit that button, you hit the subscribe, keep my subscription until it cancel, unless you want to end it after a certain issue. Let's say there's a key you know that's coming out, you want to make sure you get it, you hit that button and let it go to there. And then I hit subscribe, and boom, I'm subscribed to it. Uh, so then when I show up at my shop it Should be there waiting for me All right uh, You got brave and the bold facsimile number 28 first appearance of the Justice League If you can't get the original go ahead and look into getting that one. All right Joker Man who stopped laughing number three is out A lot of crazy covers for that got some mad magazine that we passed monkey prints just keeps going until it reaches issue 12 and the rest of the DC books. Now we're at Marvel. All right, Avengers number 63. Jason Aaron's runs. It's coming to an end eventually. So you got some Avengers books coming out. All right. Uh, Captain America. Sentinel of Liberty. Keeps going. Captain Marvel's there. Damage control. Daredevil. Daredevil should be a really interesting read this week. It's uh, supposed to be Elektra centric. You're going to have the Avengers involved in it. Daredevil. If you're not reading Daredevil, read Daredevil. Got a Peach Momoko variant, by the way. Let's go. Dark Web, number one. All right. This is a series involving not just Spider Man, but you got Ben Riley, Madeline Pryor. There are a couple of different. Uh, things going on here go ahead give it a give it a try if you like spider-man and if you like ben riley all right what else do we have fantastic four issue number two all right ghost rider uh, keeps keeping on with some really cool covers i love the ghost rider covers and you got some x-men stuff marauders etc you got mary jane and black cat number one poster <laughs> And then you got that Miles Morales Spider-Man, all right? I'm already subscribed to that, so we're gonna get an issue of that. This Del Mundo graffiti cover. I really hope I grab one of those. I ordered it, so hopefully it comes in. And you know what, the Peach Momoko, not bad either. She is pumping out covers, by the way, this Peach. You got Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. This is supposed to be a first appearance of an antagonist in that one, a villain, if you will. Uh, Punisher with the dope cover, Predator, New Mutants, Secret Invasion, let's, let's go, Thanos, Death Note, this is going to spin out of Thor, I think, believe it's issue number 6 with the Infinity Gauntlet where he's wearing it with the Black Stone, it's going to be explaining that, but also I think there's going to be some explanations of that in Thor number 29, alright, Tiger Division number 2 comes out finally, feels like it's been a while if you read the first issue for that one. And again, some more X-Men, X-Force stuff. Dynamite, you got the Gargoyles coming out. Look how many covers for Gargoyles. All right. And then you got some Immortal Red Sun, Red Sonia. I don't know why I said Red Sun. Just a lot of Sheena, Vampirella. Look at all the covers. Boom. All right. We're at the rest of the books coming out this week. Boom. If you like the Three Stooges, here is a key first cover classic reprint of the three stooges all right cool and then a lot more books blade runner for you blade runner fans blue flame because i know people out there reading that delilah in the dark which we talked about from mad cave studios what else do we have here frank miller's pandora we talked about that that's a three issue miniseries and we're almost at the end guys thank you for sticking with me so long um 
know, play. I've helped to inform you about the comics coming out this week, and you've had a good time. You know, as uh, I've conversated with you and let you know about the comics coming out. Sarah Lone, number three, coming out from Sumerian Comics. We're almost at the end. So, you know what, comic fam, comic fans. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, go ahead and throw me a thumbs up, comment down below if you like the content, if you liked hearing about the comics coming out this week, All right, do what you do, I'm going to do what I do, I'm going to get ready for this week's books, peace.